What is Change.org? Uh, Change.org is the world's largest petition platform that allows anyone anywhere to start a petition around an issue they care about. About 35 million users around the world and making daily change around government policy and the practices of companies. What's so good about an online petition versus uh, the old-fashioned kind? One drawback I would think of is that the petitioner doesn't have any direct interaction with the petitionee. I think what's most powerful is, is getting people to sign a petition is the beginning but not the end of the movement you're building. Is you have this ability to immediately follow up with those who sign your petition to ask them to take further action. And it's that ability to have sort of access to what we call... As an organization, you're out there uh, doing good. You are almost literally speaking truth to power. This has all the hallmarks of... Of a, of a nonprofit, of an advocacy do-gooder group, and yet you're not a nonprofit, correct? Yeah, we're a social good business. We think that. Ah, hold on. Social good business. What does that mean? Yeah, so we're a business that is dedicated not to maximizing profits, but maximizing the impact that we have in the world. And so we're what's called a certified B corporation. It's using business for social good, where we don't look at just shareholders, but rather the stakeholders surrounding us, the community impact that we have, the environmental impact, impacting the lives of our own employees. And are, but how do you make money? Uh, we generate revenue through advertising from major nonprofits and political campaigns. Who are your investors? Uh, so, investors right now that have thus far given money are basically private, somewhat philanthropic individuals. Uh, and what we're looking right now is we've been reached by a lot of different organizations that have been wanting to fund the company. And we've made a commitment not to not take more money, but to only do so from investors that are completely aligned with the mission of the organization. So, can you give me a sense of, of I don't know, when that will be and, and who, what, I mean, I know you don't want to say who those investors might be, but what kind of investors think like that? Yeah, there's a very few of them, I will let you know. We've spoken, I mean, it's the case when you, when you have the successes we've had over the past year, you do get a lot of sort of unsolicited interest in investing in the company. Uh, we've been very clear that we never expect to go public, we never expect to sell the company, we a long-term, private, independent, successful venture. Are you suggesting that the payout for an investor in change.org is, uh, is cosmic as opposed to financial? So I think there are, there's certainly cosmic benefit to it, but, but ultimately I think we need to as an organization to be self-sustaining and to actually demonstrate to the world that it's possible to build businesses for social good. It's also possible to be profitable. And so it's important for us to be able to give some amount of return. It is not traditional liquidity, um, but there are other ways in, in sort of non-secondary markets to give liquidity through loans and consumer buybacks or through other ways of sort of taking in additional investors that might buy out initial Investors. You're saying you could pay a dividend yep. or you could sell another stake, but that's, that's similar to going public or selling, or selling the company. Uh, I think that the difference is it's a much different profile of the possible investors in the company. It's a much smaller number of organizations, and the way the organization structure change at org is the board has the right, based on mission, to veto any investment at any given time. And it's actually an employee-owned organization where uh, sort of the, the founding staff and the employees own the majority of the stock that determines the, the board, which retains this mission-driven aspect of the company.